Well, my trailer was just rejected at a place. It's a food grade place. They require, you know, to be trailer to be completely clean. I cleaned it for about 15 minutes with my broom to the best of my ability. And of course that's not good enough because as soon as I get there, they get inside with a spotlight and a gigantic blower. Uh, how I'm supposed to compete with a 200 mile an hour blower, I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, they discovered one little tiny piece of glass that was about as big around as a BB, literally. And uh, they rejected the trailer. And even if I took it to a truck wash, they would not reload it. So I'm screwed. So I had to go to another shipper, look for another trailer. They didn't have one. Finally found another driver from our company that had one that swapped me out. And I'm having to clean his trailer. Um, and I'm not going to be rejected again this time. So this is what I've resorted to. Yes, my life is wonderful. I don't know how I got here, but this is what my life has become. Sweeping out every little crap, crevice and cranny with a friggin' whisk broom. So Superman with the X-ray vision and his super powerful blower gun doesn't reject my trailer again. Uh, welcome to trucking. Well, I finally licked this thing clean. God. The problem with this is here in trucking, okay, we get this 14 hour rule. For those of you unfamiliar with the trucking industry, we have 14 hours to drive from the time we start our day. We cannot drive any past 14 hours. Okay, now I've waited two and a half hours at my shipper just to get a dock, then they reject my trailer. So now I go on a trailer search, I just lick this thing clean, and uh, now I'm heading back. And we'll get in another line probably to uh, get reloaded. And the problem with that is now I'm hot and sweaty from cleaning two trailers today, and I need a shower. In order to deliver this on time, I'm probably gonna have to go to uh, the, sleep at the customer tonight, which means I don't have time to stop and take a shower now. Welcome to trucking. Woo! Well, thank God that's over. Uh, I'm happy to report that all my sweeping skills did pay, pay off. Yes, that is skills with a Z because I'm hip like that. Uh, I did go back. They did load my trailer. It took another two and a half hours, two hours to get into the dock and 30 minutes to load. Oh, man, what a day. Uh, anyway, I did get back into it with him again. The first time when he rejected my trailer, here's the thing, okay. All the time on the Trucker Dump podcast, I'm telling drivers, quit getting your panties in a wad because there isn't a lot of thing you can, anything you can do about a lot of this stuff. Don't yell at people. Just be calm, relax, take it easy. But sometimes there is times you need to actually, you know, get pissed about stuff. And today was one of those days. <laughs> anyway, when he came out and rejected the trailer, I was like, you know, hey, fine. It's company policy. I was pissed, I will admit, but I was not outwardly pissed. But I said, you know, hey, company policy, I understand a lot of times these policies are even made by bigger companies, which this was in this case where they were shipping to another company who had these requirements. And so it was completely out of his control. So I wasn't gonna yell at him, but he started copping attitude with me and I started copping and it just escalated. But then it was fine. I was truly fine and calm until he said these magic words. And that is, it's not my problem. And he said those words again when they came back in and found out that he had put me, they had put me at the back of the line after all the other drivers, even though I, after I'd, I had to go get a trailer. So yeah, he said it again. So I got back into it with him again. And the thing is in trucking, it seems like everything is the trucker's fault. Okay, sure. Now, if I deliver late, if I figure a time zone late and I don't show up to an appointment on time, or if I'm texting and I drive my truck off a bridge, my fault. <laughs> But a lot of things are completely out of my fault, uh, out of out of my hands with trucking. And that's just part of it. And it's a really crappy part of it. But you know, yeah, I mean, even it's not just the customers either. It's our own trucking companies. You know, if we accept a load that is neat, it's tight and we're gonna need to, you know, speed a little bit to get there and we decide to accept that load and we deliver late or we get a speeding ticket, say we get a speeding ticket, we call the company, hey, you help me out with this, I took this load, 
not our problem. It's our problem. It's our responsibility. So anyway, it's just really frustrating. You know, I started my day at like, this is one of those days, it's just, <laughs> you just want to kill somebody. <laughs> and uh, thankfully I don't have these much anymore on the road. But uh, you know, I started my day maybe 9.30, something like that this morning. It's probably 4.30, 4.15, 30, something like that. I do have six and a quarter hours left to drive. So thankfully they're gonna let me deliver tomorrow, which means I can stop at any truck stop I want on the way out of town. It will eat into my 14 hour rule unless I can stop at the end of my break. But anyway, uh, at least I'll get a shower and I won't smell like a, well, like a trucker. <laughs> so anyway, uh, happy about that at least. Um, and I'll just deliver as soon as I can. But you know, it's days like these that, like I said, do really suck. And something that if you're a new trucker or you're getting ready to get into trucking, you should really figure this stuff out before. You should know what trucking's like before you get into it. Uh, how can you do that? Well, <laughs> it just so happens there's this really cool podcast called Trucker Dump. Uh, there'll be a link at the end of it, and there's also going to be uh, a link to a couple of books I wrote. One's called Trucking Life, and that would tell you all about the trucking career and what it's like. Another one is called uh, How to Find a Great Truck Driving Job if you decide to get into it. So check those out. They're going to slide in from that side or that side I'm not sure but anyway uh, thanks for listening and I hope you had a better day than I did <laughs>